Hello and welcome to the channel, it's me Chris Brooks. I wanted to share with you a fabulous piece of footage of a lady called Peggy Peterson, a Canadian lady, telling her local council of Huntsville just how it is and that as a community they see them for who they are. It's the P-O-G-G and it's your duty to restore peace, order and good governance. Please do watch till the end because it's she bangs it out of the park it's really good to watch and we need these kind of people in government with this these are the kind of people that we need on our side so have a look tell me what you think and i'll speak to you soon bye hello my name is peggy peterson and i'm here today to speak directly to our elected public trustees the mayor and councillors however this presentation will also act as a notice of the public from the public to the city, municipal corporation, its officers, members, and staff, and most notably to the CAO, Denise Corey, and the clerk, Tanya Calais. We undertake this deputation with the full support of hundreds of local men and women, home and business owners in the Huntsville area. We undertake this deputation with the full support of hundreds of local men, women, and home owners and business owners in the Huntsville area. And we are here to point out a serious problem, quite possibly a breach of trust and trust indentures, malfeasance of office, and a conversation of legal jurisdiction without right. This is leaving you all, including holding an incredible personal liability for everything you agree to and sign. So please listen carefully. At my side is Sheila McFarlane. She is here as a consultant with experience in municipal governance and the author of the POG Primer, and she will be available to answer questions. The POG Primer exposes the corporate hijacking that is happening in every municipality in Canada using public-private partnerships and the international treaty, the UN Agenda 21. Public-private partnerships are legal creatures used to install a de facto global governing system instead of a local agenda. The United Nations Agenda 2030 has our elected officials turn a local dominion of trust into international territory by controlling the entire election process and the inaugural ceremonies. We think we are electing a public official for the office of the mayor as public trustee, as defined by federal legislation, but instead we get a global strong mayor under a secret declaration, and everything they do becomes a secret. The dangerous part of this agenda is that any local decisions can be made without any public input by the signatures of only two people, the mayor and the CAO. COVID lockdowns prove that these two officers can not only call a local emergency anytime they want, but they can put a needle in your arm using only a municipal bylaw, like a parking ticket. Moving on, some questions many of us have now when you say you have no power, or that you're the only one vote at the table, I ask, one, if you as our elected public officials are not the body in power of control, who is? Two, whose orders are you following? Because they certainly aren't coming from the public. And three, if the agenda ideologies like your climate emergency order turn out to be unlawful and beyond your scope and purview, who do you think will be held liable? The people of this community have many more questions for you and they deserve answers. You deserve answers. Actually, we would suggest an old fashioned town hall at our lovely theater, give you the opportunity to explain to the public the status of this inquiry 
and give you the opportunity to explain the status currently under control for the town of Hustle. We hope to give you the opportunity to unravel this mess, and it is a mess, and restore status of our elected officials to public trustee again. We began as a nation with this type of governance, and now we are controlled by an entity and ordered about by an international body of people who are not only not elected, they're not in any way responsible for the town of Huntsville. By the way, climate change is none of our business. We will show that to you at your climate and environment, climate change and environment committee meeting on February the 12th. And Huntsville is not alone in this challenging process, and it is challenging. It's happening across Canada. It's happening across Muskoka and around the world. WEO and the w and United Nations are being exposed for tyrannical fraud. They are unelected, egocentric, who have a plan for another medical tyranny. How do we move this forward? We carefully assess the situation. And then as a community, we fix it. People are clear, rich, the renters, the homeless, people who suffer from poverty. And let's never forget that the people in Muskoka suffer from some of the worst poverty in Ontario. So I want to ensure that I clearly state on behalf of many people that we are saying no to any property tax increase. I'm going to say that again so you understand me clearly. This community is saying no to any property tax increase. We know the development fees and the additional taxes coming in here on an annual basis from the clear cutting and the blasting of our community that there's enough money for you to work with. In closing, 2022 election brought many two faces to this table and it's a perfect opportunity to correct, correct fraudulent system. We're not saying any person is fraudulent. We're saying we have a system that's fraudulent. And fraud vitiates fraud. Fraud vitiates fraud. The reasons will become clear to you over time how this happened in front of our eyes. Planned takeover of your national sovereignty. And the choices as councillors and mayor and CAO are clear. Each of you must act lawfully and ethically. And each and every one of you must do your own due diligence, your own research, and decide for yourselves the path forward. We ask you to address your oath. Did you understand when you signed your declaration of office that you were declaring not for your constituents, but a fealty to an uncoronated king? Let me read it to you. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to his majesty, King Charles III. This is the emergency order. I was fortunate with a freedom of information request. A few pages. The doctrine and the orders in this document shock me. The whereases and why for us, and we'll address this on February 12th. However, how can an emergency order on climate change have a lack of a signature? This doesn't even tell me who has signed this or what office they're from. So, what I'm saying is that we ask you to address your oath and you can fix this by declaring an oath as a public trustee so you can be re-oathed. We can carry on business 
some on some level, but we have to fix the fraud. We suspect that once you're confident that what we are sharing is true, you will do the right thing. Because when we know better, we're supposed to do better. Thank you. Well.